The one word that has dominated the past decade is data. Be it posting a lengthy, well-researched essay on economic theories or a funny cat video. Every action is captured, interpreted and added to your profile which turns into your user persona. But who collects this data? How do they use it? And how can they use it better? Facebook, Google, Twitter, Instagram, Amazon and many more platforms collect data in one form or another. They collect our data with our permission, of course. The details of data collection are described in those long and boring terms and conditions we all never read. But when we hit the agree button, we do give our consent. These companies usually sell our personal data to third parties for a fee. All your personal data, which includes your likes, preferences, favorite clothing brands, whether you have pets, whether you have kids, etc., is given to third parties to help them target relevant ads to you. The issue is not selling the data to clients. It is a simple fact that these companies were built to make money and that is the price we pay for getting free services. But with the amount of information that tech giants have on us, they can surely put this information to better use. Big Tech has data on problem areas of society like hate crime, racism, polarization, stereotyping, cyberbullying, etc. And with our data, they can invest their time, energy and money in innovations which can help curb these issues. The revenue of Big Tech companies is in billions. While these companies are involved in social welfare programs and CSR initiatives, many fall short in using the biggest weapon in their arsenal to tackle world issues. Data protection and privacy also enter the conversation as big tech companies need to evaluate the third-party organizations they are dealing with. Data shows that around 64% of recruitments to extremist groups were done through Facebook. The Facebook Cambridge Analytica scandal, where data of millions of users was harvested and used to influence the 2016 US elections and the Brexit vote, is an example of how data can be used with malicious intent. There are constant efforts from ex-employees of these organizations to highlight such manipulative techniques. Advocates like Tristan Harris, a former Google employee who co-founded the Center for Humane Technology, and Christopher Wiley, an ex-employee of Cambridge Analytica who broke the scandal, are trying to change the digital landscape. However, it is high time that such initiatives came from the companies themselves. Social responsibility is an ethical choice, be it an individual or an organization. Everyone has a responsibility to make the right choice. Big tech companies have the information, the resources, the means to make these choices and implement them. What they lack is intent and ownership of their responsibility.